Hello and welcome back to my craft room. I am 61 years and one day old <laughs> and it's time to move on to day two of my Celebrating 61 quill. Now I need to keep these little videos really really quick so I'm not going to waffle. First thing to do is to show you how I got on with yesterday's square. So this is day one. Now it doesn't look much but I do need to keep it simple and when I put them all together at the end I will be adding more decorative stitching. So the prompt for my first day, weirdly, out of 61 prompts, the one I pulled was stitch. Oh, what a coincidence. So this is what I've done. Um, I've used some of this um, rayon thread for the needle because I thought it would look kind of metallic. I had to couch it down. I just ran two straight lines and couched them down in the end. Couched them down with, a with this very fine vintage um it's really really fine vintage thread so that it wouldn't really show and then for the for the thread i use this linen this is another this is a space dyed one i'm not sure what space dyed means <laughs> but they're so beautiful so beautiful so this is a very fine linen um space dyed thread from steph francis so i use that for the thread. i went over i did just running stitches and then I, I whipped them and I went back and forth so that they got whipped twice so that they would show a bit more. And like I say, it, it's it's pretty simple, but to me, I know what that represents and um, I have to bear in mind, I've got to do one of these every day and then at the end, um, when I put them all together, I will add more decorative stitching. So that's that. So the exciting bit is to pull today's prompt. So this is day two got everything in my little sweetie bag all 61 silk pieces so this is the um, just to show you again this is the um, this is the layout I'm going to be following so first of all I'm going to randomly pull out a square or rectangle of silk the only one I would put back is that cent I don't want to do that center one until the very end oh which is the only one I've pulled out okay Oh, come here. Can't get hold of it. Okay. Oh, pink again. Oh, do you know what? No, just do them as they come. I don't want pink again. Do you know I'm going to cheat because I, you know, I just want a different colour. There's so many different colours in here. Just anything but pink. Okay. Very plain. That will make it uh, in some ways more challenging, in some ways easier. And now I need to pull one of the little pieces of paper. What's it going to be? <laughs> Warmth. Oh, that's interesting, isn't it? Because that's quite a cool colour. Warmth. Um, so that means different things to me. Um, I think uh, I think it's important to appreciate the fact that you know we have warm homes to live in. You know we're safe. Um, where we are we hear a lot of awful things going on in the world and um and we're very lucky to be safe and warm at home and uh and not just elsewhere in the world but you know homeless people in this country as well you know especially at this time of the year my heart goes out to them and um so there's that <laughs> and also the the sort of just the simple i just i just love to be warm i don't want to be too warm i like fresh air in um I love the sunshine, I, I, I don't like, I feel the cold and I just like to be warm. So <laughs> that's a bit of a strange one, but yes, something I want to celebrate, something that makes me smile, oh, being warm and cosy. Okay, so um, that's my simple um, symbol that I've already drawn out. Same as yesterday, you can see that I can just see through. The temptation is to want to do it that way, but they're all oriented that way, so I think it needs to be that way. So I might even expand the stitching out as well to sort of show a radiation of warmth. It'd be quite nice because um, I can use warm kind of oranges and yellows, perhaps red going to orange going to yellow, and it will contrast nicely against this blue. So that's worked out really well. So that's all I'm going to do for today. I'm keeping these short and sweet. I'll come back tomorrow and let you know how that went. And um, also, I've got to um, 
do my paper version so let's just take out one of the paper rectangles so I thought it would be fun to do a non-sewing version for people who might be watching and like the idea but don't like to sew so these are half the size I've cut all the all the 61 pieces again half the size of the fabric pieces if anybody wants a PDF of any of this please say and I will be very happy to do it but basically this one so this one is four centimeters by yeah so this is four centimeters by two and a half and the squares were two and a half by two and a half so I've got that ready I'm going to do separate little videos with the doodling ones so it'll be a kind of paper patchwork doodle fest I'm going to call it <laughs> right that's enough of that for today I'll see you tomorrow for day three and show you how this one went thanks very much for joining me see you again soon bye